Hello, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Now today we're gonna be showing you guys how to make a montage like I do. Now Fakey Antic um wanted this tutorial because he was recently using Panzoid. I used to use that for making um some videos for class when I didn't have my computer around. It's a good um it's a good thing, but there's a better way. So right now, the first thing you want to do is find some music. So I have my hard drive here. This is where I keep all my folders. Um, where is it? Would it be in documents, I think? Yeah, I used to use Sony Vegas Pro 14. But now I use 15. They're pretty much the same. So if I have reference to Sony Vegas Pro 15, don't worry, it's the same. I think it might be in my downloads, actually. Here it is. So you want some music that has nice bass hits. So we got we got little Einstein's. This is what I'm gonna use today. I'm gonna put that in. For this video, I don't think I'm gonna use any effects. I'm just gonna pretty much show you how to do the velocity syncing, which is the most important. Maybe in the next episode I'll show you guys how to get magic bullet looks, which is the thing you need for is the thing you need for the thing so if we go to media effects rg Malik, this is where i put where i put all my um effects if we go back here we go to my downloads not that downloads uh i don't really use my own clips because honestly i can't hit clips i'm <laughs> really bad so we've got this old video that i use all the time that works for using clips. So we're just going to drag this above the audio timeline. It usually doesn't show anything because my computer is not responding because it's annoying. Anyway, if you guys want to get that before I do the next video, um, I'll leave two links in the description for Magic Bullet. There will be um, a tutorial on how to get it. And I looked them through. And I, um, I looked them through to make sure they were the right one. It worked. So, I would trust them. I did it on my computer first. I wouldn't give you a wrong link. But, if you have any troubles, just, um, comment down below and I will fix it for you. But anyway, let's just, whenever this prompt, prompt comes up, do you want to see your, pro last, see your project video settings to match this media? Just say no. You don't, you don't need that. Alright, so now that we've gotten our clip, I think it's important to make the volume of the clip so it's all the way down. And then you have your little Einstein's Trap Remix, which is pretty nice. Anyway, so here we have the intro. I wouldn't use this beginning. Right here, the bass drops right, right there. In our favorite rocket ship, zooming through the sky, little line stars. All right, okay, so this is the first best song to use on this. So since this is the intro, I would just recommend to leave it. So the way I can tell that the bass drops is because whenever there's a bass hit, it sounds higher than their usual song. So this is a way you can make your clips sync up and it's easier for you to find the right clips. So if you press M on your keyboard, put your pretty much put your cursor on the beat that you wanna you wanna do a velocity sync. Press M on your keyboard, you'll have this little orange one. Now the more you do, it will gradually go one. If you put another one, it would go two, put another one, it would go three. And this is pretty much showing like this you will have this thing where you want to type wouldn't recommend typing anything just press enter and you'll got your little marker now while we start this i'd recommend moving your clip to where you want it so once you've got this first marker let's just draw all the base hits so press m that's the hi-hat i would recommend still doing that and we got another hit here we got another one right there. Doesn't have to be exact. 
You just have to know exactly where it is. Or relatively know where it is. So you're just going to do this for how long you want it, the clip to be. This is where we can do the velocity. So do the velocity like I said. It doesn't matter. Just so right where he makes the shot. All right, so then make this so it's 40 velocity. So now that we got all these, that we got this, put cursors on every single one. There we go. And then I would recommend in the between of that, change it, change this to 20 velocity. And then change that really high. And then change that so it's a little bit more closer to the thing. Set that to 40, move that to over, move that to 40. And so you see how it went like that? I would recommend then having another velocity up here so it gets that effect. And then doing another one over here. And then right here, you want this to go a little bit up. Then go to this one. Change this as high as you could. Or if you want, make that as high as you can and make that as low as you can or what, whatever. And then right there, we're gonna move this over. Make sure that that's at 40 again. I'm gonna put a dot on these two. Make sure it's all the way up and then Go over like that. All right. Now that looks a little. That didn't look too good. So we're gonna turn this down a little bit. We're actually gonna delete this one because I don't like it. That's pretty much all you need to know. It's just a matter of what it looks like. And another thing is if you change this to slow fade, that kind of looks weird. But if you change it to smooth and you change this to fast, it's just a matter of knowing what to do. Well, how I did that was I right clicked and I chose any of these. And there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to drop a like, subscribe. I'll show you guys how to do the magic bullet looks and the, um, some other cool effects. But I think this is a good start if you want to learn. And I think you guys will learn a lot from this. Now, if you're having troubles with this and your clip is not lining up, really changing this to 40, it makes the video a whole difference. Okay. Let's give you an example. Let's just set this to normal velocity and see how the clip looks. See how fast that looks? It doesn't look clean. Now, if we set this to 40, see how good that looks? It makes the world of, world of a difference. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope that actually helped you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.